Welcome back everyone to another Thinkorswim tutorial where today we're going to be learning how to create alerts that notify us when a stock reaches a new 52 week high or 52 week low. We're going to be doing this for an individual stock that we're watching, but we're also going to learn how to set up this alert to watch for new highs and lows on an entire list of stocks. Now, before we begin, I do want to mention that Thinkorswim already creates a really simple template for us to use. And if we were to open up our watch list over here on the side panel, so right here I currently have the My Watch List selected, but if I were to come up here above and look in the section marked Public N through R, over here on the right you're going to see two pre-made watch lists called New Yearly Highs and New Yearly Lows. So just like the name suggests, the New Yearly Highs is going to show us stocks that have reached a new high today, and then the New Yearly Lows is going to show us stocks that have hit a yearly low today. So opening up one of those here, the new yearly highs, looking down below in my new watch list here, all of these stocks in this list have hit a 52-week high today. And if I wanted to create an alert off of this and just say, hey, alert me or notify me if a new stock is ever added to this list. So if a new stock ever hits a 52-week high, I want to be notified. All we have to do is come back up here above and click on the name again. But this time, we're going to come up here where it says alert when scan results change. And you'll see in this little dialog box that appears over here, what we're saying is, I want to be alerted whenever a new symbol is added to this watch list. So you guys can use this pre-made one, but the major problem with it is, is that it's way too broad. It basically encompasses every stock in the entire stock market or publicly traded stock in the market. So you're probably going to get a lot of results pop up in here each day that you would never be interested in trading. So what we're going to do here in a minute is something very similar to this, but we get to add our own templates. We get to add our own filters or criteria that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and begin by coming down here below and canceling this out. And let's just say for this first example, I wanted to place this alert on a very specific stock. So looking here at my chart at the moment, we currently have Apple pulled up. And for this one, let's just say I want to be notified if it ever hits a new yearly high or a new yearly low. So we'll just come down below to the chart and just right click anywhere on the screen. We'll then look in the little dialog menu here and we'll come down to the bottom and click on create alert. That'll bring up this alert dialog box, which some of you might have used in the past. Right here we could say, hey, if Apple stock price ever is at or above, let's say we wanted to do it to 230. That's simply saying, alert me if the stock ever goes above 230. But if we instead wanted to base this off a more advanced condition, so in our case, we're saying if a stock hits a new yearly high or low, we need to instead come over here to the box that currently says mark, then come down below to the very bottom where it says we're basing this off a study, and then we're going to come over here and click on edit. Now, in this case, I actually pre-made this before. This is exactly what we're looking for. But to begin, I'm going to start by just deleting whatever's in here. And I could use the conditional order tool right here if I wanted to add the condition this way or add the filter this way. But because this one is so simple, what I'm instead going to do is come up here to the ThinkScript editor. And then down here below, if I can make this just a little bit bigger, easier to see here, right here in this dialog box, we're going to type in exactly what we're looking for. So we're looking for the current high to be equal to the highest high over the last 252 days, which is a year. So if all we were looking for is to be alerted if Apple ever reached its new 52-week high, this would be all we'd want to do. However, we also want to look for new yearly lows or be notified if there's a new yearly low. So we're going to go ahead and keep going with this. We're going to say, or if the low is equal to the lowest low over the last 252 days. And now we've got both of them in here. So now that I've got it set for both a 52-week high and a 52-week low, we'll come down here below and hit OK. We're going to come down below and now hit Create because we're done with it. And now my alert is set. So if I were to come up here to the Market Watch tab, look down here in the Alert section, we can see right here I've got my alert set up to notify me if there's ever a 52-week high or low on Apple. But that took a lot of work. And honestly, I wouldn't want to do that for every single stock. So what I'm instead going to do is make this encompass a whole list of stocks. So to do that, in order to put this alert on an entire list, what we're going to do is head over to the Scan tab right up here at the top. We're going to specifically open up the Stock Hacker right here. 
And then the very first thing I could specify is what list of stocks do I want this to look at? So coming down here below where it currently says scan in all stocks, it's currently looking at literally every publicly traded company in the world right now. So if we wanted to change that, if we click here, we could either use our personal list of stocks. So right here, these are all watch lists that I've made myself or scanners that I've made myself. Or we could come over here to the public watch list and we could instead say, I only want to alert myself if new companies in the S&P 500 hit a yearly high or low. Or we could say only companies that trade on the New York Stock Exchange or only companies in the Russell 2000. Now, in my case, I'm actually going to come up here to my personal watch list and I'm going to say I only want to be alerted if stocks in the my watch list watch list hit a new yearly high or low. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And just as a reminder, if we come back over here to my watch list on the left and open up the my watch list, we can now see here the only stocks I'm looking out for are going to be Apple, Amazon, Google, and Netflix. And with that set, what we're going to do is now come over here to our scanner. And I'm going to get rid of all of these because I don't need them. I can then come up above and add a new filter. It's specifically going to be a study filter. We can then see the default filter that gets added here is called ADX crossover. But we'll go ahead and click on that. And despite seeing this big list of different filters that we could use, ones that are pre-made for us, we're instead going to come down here and create a custom filter. So right here in the scanner custom filter box, we'll go ahead and begin by just deleting whatever's in here. And then just like before, I'm going to open up the ThinkScript editor and just throw in that same code that we used previously for the alert on Apple. So if you remember, we said if the high is equal to the highest high over the last 252 trading days, or if the low is equal to the lowest low over the last 252 trading days, and now with that set, if we come down here and hit OK, and if I now come up above and hit scan, we can see that none of those four companies, Apple, Amazon, Google, or Netflix, are hitting their 52-week high or low today. But now in order for me to create that alert, we'll come up here above and save this scanner. So we're going to come up here and hit the three little lines, upper right-hand corner. We're going to come down below and say save scan query. And then we get to type in the name for this scanner. And what we probably want to do is give it a name that we're going to remember what it's actually looking for. So in my case, I'm going to throw in new high or low my watch list. So I can just quickly see that this one is looking for new highs and lows on the my watch list. So now coming down below and hitting save, we can then come back over to the watch list over here on the side panel and switch it over to the scan that we just made. So we're coming up here to where it says personal. And we're clicking on that new watch list here, new highs or lows. And just like we saw previously, none of those four companies have hit a new yearly high or low today, which is why it's not in this watch list right now. But that's fine. We just want to create an alert off of those things. So if we now come up above and click on the name of the watch list again, and then come up here and say alert when scan results change, we're going to get that same little dialog box that we saw at the very, very beginning of this video. But now instead of this scan looking at literally every stock in the entire market, this is only going to be looking for that crossover for those four stocks that we had in the My Watch List watch list. So right here, again, it's just saying that whenever a symbol is added to this watch list or that scanner that we made just a second ago, I want to be alerted. So since I'm happy with that, just come down below and hit Create right here. And now we've got the alert set up. So if we were to come up here to the Market Watch tab again and look in the Alerts page, Right here, we've got our scanner running, looking, looking for new highs and lows on the My Watch List watch list. And then if I ever wanted to cancel this or let's say replace it with something else, I could always right click on it and then hit replace alert or cancel alert. But definitely do be careful with this because if you make that watch list too big or you're going to have too many results every day, you're going to get a bunch of different alerts over the course of the day that are going to be pretty annoying. But honestly, that really is everything you guys need to know to create your own alerts within Thinkorswim. Go ahead and check out this next video below to dive into another tool on Thinkorswim, and I'll see you there.